and key species for ecosystem restoration. These stakeholders put measures in place to ensure endangered plants and animal species thrive. As Josh Ansari reports, communities surrounding ecosystems in Mao Forest are working around the clock to protect the endangered species. Environmental scientists and other stakeholders continue to draw attention to the importance of safeguarding the endangered species, including plants, mammals, reptiles, and wildlife as they draw the discussion towards their conservation since they play a role in making the ecosystem complete and sustainable. The endangered plant species are part of the bigger picture of conservation in any ecosystem. These plants are indigenous in nature. In southwest Mao Forest, the Ogiek community is keen in growing indigenous trees for the betterment of the environment. <laughs> And According to a research by United Nations Development Program of 2018, populations of mammals, birds, fish, reptiles and amphibians have on average declined in size by 60% in just over 40 years, with conservationists worried of the decline. All the vultures are endangered and in the past five decades, they have been facing a large population decline, and there are just very few. We've said that the vultures, they are our garbage collectors. Instead of that carcass causing a spreading of diseases like anthrax, killing our livestock, killing our wildlife, why don't we preserve that bird? Deforestation and habitat laws in various forests in the country has affected the population. These leading to extinction of rare species in the ecosystem. In Kenya, the mountain bongo antelope is one of the endangered species among the antelope family. This is according to statistics derived from Mount Kenya, Abadeas, Eburu and Southwest Mau ecosystems, making it critically endangered species. Wildlife conservationists are currently conducting an exercise dubbed the scientific trap camera to gather the images and at the same time erecting fences to protect them from poachers. We have several cameras. We, we draw them in with salt because there are not many natural salt lakes in the forest here. So we put down salt and that draws them in. But it also draws in um, elephant and buffalo and all the rest. So we have to just be patient and wait until we get the the bonga themselves coming in. We have a, a camera uh, from a certain place and we have uh, taken images of bongo. So after it is said there in, in, uh, in England, he will be able to analyze uh, those uh, images. What we have built here in the Abedance is not just for a short term period, it's actually for the very long term. And more and more the solutions that we have implemented here in the Abedans are being requested to be, to be implemented somewhere else. There are more and more ecosystems that call for the same interventions than the one that we have put here in the Abedans. Because they look like very effective and actually they help maintaining this kind of harmony between uh, habitat and wildlife on one side of the fence and also the people on the other side. Another wildlife animal that is endangered is the elephant that comprises of the big five. Many at a times the elephants are killed in instances of human wildlife conflict in conservancies that are close to communities who depend on the forest. 
But after the, uh, the, the implementation of the fence in those areas, no single case has been reported. But what, uh, what is important uh, to me is we've seen an increase of population of elephant in those areas that we did not have elephants before. Because of now, the elephants can move. The interaction between elephants and the community has, has, has actually been curbed. According to the 2021 National Wildlife Census, key species in an ecosystem are endangered. This is attributed to poaching activities and the human-wildlife conflict. Some of the endangered species include black rhino, which are 897 only, Hirola of the antelope family, totaling to 497, Rowan antelope, which are only 15 in number, Sabol antelope, which are 51, Tanariva Monk Bay, which are 1,650 only, and the Mountain Bongo, which are estimated to be less than 200 individuals. The, the reduction of population in Rowan antelope and other uh, species was a result of poaching and other, 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 other forces. But after the implementation of the fence, that, that threat has gone down. And that's why we're having an increase of uh, population in wildlife. In protecting the endangered species, conservationists have called on Kenyans and the government to ensure efforts are put in place for the recovery of the species. Josh Onsare, TV 47.